Welcome to a new video tutorial by Crocfix. I'm gonna show you today how to replace your screen and your rear glass cover on your Apple iPhone 14 smartphone. If you need the parts and tools, I have provided the links in the video description. Just click here on more under the video and you will see the links. And then you just click on the link and then you can access the parts. You can buy them directly here. All right, that's our iPhone 14 and it's broken and cracked in front and broken and cracked at the back. So let's go replace the back screen, uh, I mean the back cover and the front LCD screen. So firstly what you will need is a screwdriver to unscrew these two screws. Oh, they are already missing. So if they are not missing you need to unscrew these two screws with the iPhone Pentelope screwdriver and then you are good to go. Then secondly, what you will need is a little bit of alcohol, you can use isopropyl alcohol and of course you will also need a small pry tool to lift up this back cover. Alright? Alright. So maybe also a heat gun won't be that bad. So what I'm going to do now is firstly I'm going to heat up here around this area with around uh, 180 degrees Celsius and with a safe distance. Don't heat it up too much close to the cameras, all right? Let's go. And I've heated it up, so now let's go. And we go and try to Find a gap here to insert this very tiny pry tool. Let's see if we can actually. We can here. All right. So let's go and try to lift this up. So of course, safety first. Take your protective goggles. Don't get any glass in your eye. Put this on your head and then proceed. We will go and put a little bit of alcohol here. For the adhesive to become more softened. Alright. So let's go. Just go slowly around all the area and pure in a bit of alcohol. And then we go and try to lift it up. It's a little bit of tricky because uh, all the glass is broken everywhere around. So just work rather slowly than too fast. All right. The cables and connectors are here on that side, so you don't need to worry if you go open from that side here. So what you could do here, we will try to put some tape here on it, so it will be a little bit easier and it won't break. All right, let's go and tape here on it. This will still hold a little bit of the glass here, so we won't get a mess. And 
and also I'm not going to cut myself. What is the most important? Alright, so let's go and proceed from that side again, let's go and try to take in this pry tool again. Alright, so this is slowly going up. So you can also go that way, that you, once you go and you have a gap here, you can go and insert here a um, plastic card here, for example. So you will leave this open for later. You don't need to every time go and correct this. like this all right okay so once you have this plastic card inside let's go and try if we can just go and proceed here i'm gonna try to pure here a bit of alcohol everywhere around so that gets inside all the corners and edges, it will be easier. All right, let's go. The tricky part here is because it's completely shattered, it doesn't hold and stick that much together, so it's maybe just a little bit of an harder work, but anyway we will manage it. So once you make these small gaps here, always pure a bit of alcohol in, it will make your job a lot easier. As you see, this part is already coming out now so let's go and proceed here so carefully here now where the cameras are don't go too deep inside if you are clumsy a little bit take a glove so you won't cut yourself all right let's go and proceed here from that side
try to if you can just open to the other side without damaging anything just carefully so if this won't work then we will just go here on that side and try to lift up here this a little bit because the only problem is there are some metal clamps here which are inside and that makes the part a little bit more difficult but not impossible as you will see here okay so now you can go and pure here a little bit of alcohol as well there we go and then we try again here to So carefully, really carefully now, the glue is still holding all the stuff, don't use too much force here because otherwise you will crack the cable there. So you see there is the cable the cable comes right here close to the volume up button so what you can do you can go here and take this try to take this out a little bit and again we are going to use alcohol to soften up the glue so now you can try to lift up the glass a little bit, not too much, don't use too much force. And then let's check it out if we are already open. So we almost open it. We see here some um, condensation here around on the back, but that doesn't matter. So we successfully open it. Um, for later, I'm going just to show you that we will need to take care here around this cable area. So put something on the back to hold your glass here and then we will remove this rest leftovers of the glass and also any dirt and the old adhesive. So let's go first and we are going to disconnect here the battery. So let's remove these two screws. All right, and now we disconnect this connector and also this one. Actually, this one we don't need, but the battery we will for sure. So then we have here another metal plate, which we are going to remove. That's for this sensor here. And for the for this wireless charger. All right, so now, oh, let's go here and firstly clean up this mess here, all the leftovers of this glass.
carefully around the battery, don't make a damage to the battery. Carefully clean and take out the glass with tweezers or a small scalpel knife. So there is one thing what you can do, you can clean this glass like I do and try to reuse this uh, adhesive here, the black one, or you can remove all the black adhesive and try to use some uh, black glue, it's up to you. I'm always trying to reuse the original adhesive as it it's kind of strong, so... This is a small helper for you, a small duster, you can also buy it from my description, from my links, affiliate links if you want. If you want to reuse this um, adhesive, old adhesive like I do, then you just uh, need to clean all the glass and then you just go around and see if there is still some pieces somewhere. Uh, you can check this by going with the tweezers or with a screwdriver and see if there is something sharp or something hard. For example, if you drive through the adhesive here, you will clearly hear the difference and feel the difference if there is something still what it needs to be cleaned. This seems to be clean so far. There is sometimes somewhere still some color. There is no glass, just like small pieces of color so it doesn't really interfere or make any difference. So this is clean now. Now we are going to proceed to the next part which will be 
transferring, trying to transfer this wireless to the new back plate, to the new back frame. So, our new back frame here, back plate, came here without the wireless charger and without here also this um, uh, flash, flashlight. All right. So I'm going here. I will make a little bit more light. So let's go and try in this procedure. So for this procedure, I'm going to need to remove this or at least just cut here a little bit. This protective layer, I don't want to put too much, uh, to remove too much of the layer until I'm not done because I don't want to put any dirt inside. So I'm going just to cut this here like this and here. All right. But I'm going here to take away this and also this here. So the magnets are already here on the new one. So we just will need to carefully remove the wireless charger and then we are good to go. All right? All right. We can also remove this here. All right, so it seems these stickers won't stay here, there for... Maybe they are not even meant to be transferred. It doesn't matter. Just checking again if they need to be transferred or not. All right, it seems I can transfer them if I want, so I will just take them out here and put them in the corresponding place. All right. always a bit tricky if this is really really tiny so this need to go here and then this more needs to be rolled out Stirring with my hair somewhere. All right. That should be okay. And then we just, just put here this one as well. Uh, this one.
And then this one. Like this. And then we will just put it here as well. If we do it, then we do it like it should be done. First like this. Why these stickers? Uh, they are probably just for maybe a little bit uh, take out the heat of the, the phone, not nearly necessary. So the next step will be here. Let's go and remove this small metal plate here. So this metal plate needs to be removed. and taken out here, so carefully. All right, so then you will need to carefully take out the um, flash here. So what we are going to do, we will try to firstly heat up this a little bit and then push from the other side to this side. So maybe we can just take it out this way. So there is also here a small metal plate, which you need to actually um, kind of Unlock. Firstly, let's go here and take this out. We will hit from the other side. Try to push it in. Perfect. This is working just perfect. Don't push too much. Otherwise you could damage the cable here. So then we we'll go and just precise disassemble here. And let's go slowly and take it here that way. Don't use too much force, otherwise you could break this one. So here, here we are going to also heat up the, that way and then lift up this completely metal plate and the cable.
I believe we will need here some different stuff to take it out. Let me just check it out. So we will need to take a closer look here and firstly to remove this small metal plate just push it that way to the right and then take it by side here like this all right so let's go now and we will try to lift up this together with the speaker here we just need to come uh, come under the under this metal piece here you can use a knife that should be all right but firstly let's go to heat it up a little bit Okay, once heat it up, let's go now with the knife, try to comb under this. You need to be really careful as don't break here the microphone, all right? So I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can. A little bit hot this one now. So once you came under this one, try to go further a little bit. There is probably a lot of glue used, which will make things a little bit harder. Let me just check this glue here. It's nothing, so... Be carefully, watch your eyes. Once you came under this one, try to help yourself with a little screwdriver or some tweezers. So I see this is already coming apart now. Perfect. Okay. So as you see, this is okay. We will need to bend it later a little bit. There is strong, uh, strong adhesive used here, so that's why the little problems. Okay, so we will leave this for now. And we will transfer now first this mesh here, which is going inside the new back frame. So probably the next time we will buy maybe already with these small parts pre-installed and it will save some time for us. So perfectly this mesh we could take out with the tweezers and now let's go and put this here inside. Try to push a little bit inside the new frame, inside the new back cover, so you will have uh, this already installed. And now we come to the last part, actually we will need to remove here to take away this cable uh, and the 
wireless charger. So be really carefully here. This can easily break. So just work carefully, slowly. Use some plastic tools, no sharp knives, maybe here. And then let's see if we can do it. All right. So let's go heat up first. Trying to disassemble the cable. This is going smooth. All the way here to the other side. Just a bit more carefully. way this here is done already so now we will maybe anyway I will make a really new sharp um, blade here and I will just use it to go from this side here to lift it up a little bit so we can easily remove the this adhesive to lift up the wireless charger so with a really new and sharp razor blade here, I'm going to try to lift up here this adhesive, black adhesive here. You're not going to lift this up with a really old knife, which is not sharp. So carefully, don't damage here the wireless charging pad. So far so good. I will use a little bit more heat here. And then let's go and proceed. This is just. Let's go actually and try to pull this from that side out. This should be easier because this part here is made from Cooper and this one here not. So let's go check out if we can lift up this step by step we should be able I'm gonna heat it up again from this side as well Let's go and try again. This time, oh, it's really hot. I'm going to try it from this side. Oh, that's really kind of hot now. 
but it must be hot because otherwise you can't really remove it. We almost manage it. So it's still in one piece. The thing is just there is another small one here. Don't pull it too much or too fast out. There is still a small plastic here which needs to go out as you see here together with this cooper so let's go and try to get this out together perfect so we got it out it's in one piece it's just a little bit of cooper and some electronics and this will need to go now to the new frame if we can get this in let's see so firstly we need to remove this foil here all right and now we will go and need to uh, take in this uh, Cooper here. So this is going to be tricky now. It has still some glue in it, but I don't know if that much that it will hold it. Let's see, maybe we are lucky. So this needs, needs to be precise mounted, so really precise around that area here. You see, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. All right, so let's go again and You just need to believe in yourself and then everything is going to be all right. So basically under this you will need also uh, the black plastic to put back in place which is mm. which is here this one this needs to go on the top of this. Like this here. It's maybe a little bit harder to show you, but you will need a little bit of really, um, if you want to do this by yourself, you will need patience and work slowly because this is kind of 
as I said, already tricky. Uh, but you can save your, save your time and buy already with pre-mounted small parts. So let's go see here this if we are lucky and I would suggest one thing first take this out also this plastic here and then let's go and firstly connect this cable here I mean uh, stick this cable here to the frame like this and then let's go and then proceed with um, going further this way and Basically, the best thing is that we put this plastic here first around back here because later we just align and put back the um, we just will stick it into the bottom side let's see if this is going to work should actually should be fine this way what you can do is you lift this up then we go and try to stick this in here not going to be that easy but we have the will all right let's try and see 
what we can do actually here about this. So another option, we have taken this out. Let's go first and assemble this here together and later just put it in inside this whole frame. This needs to be kind of a little bit separated. Trust me. It's really worth to pay the additional couple of dollars or euros and buy already with pre-mounted wireless charger. You will save a lot of time. But I wanted to show you how this is done and what you can expect. So now let's go and put this back in these holes here. This must be even. If we say this is a really precise work, then this will be underrated. It's more than really a precise work. And this won't also stay if we don't have enough glue underneath. So, let's go and try. Oh, you see, it's not even sticking real to the to this plastic. What I could do is putting some glue on it, but I'm not really sure if I want to do that. This is not really going to hold in place. We can just hope when I put this back here that it will just 
stay in place where it belongs. Okay, it should be fine actually now. You can go and you can touch, you can see if this is inside the recommended Okay, you can press this in, you will feel it when you press it in. So now the completely plastic and everything is in and it's inside the place. Took me a lot of time and I really don't know if it's worth it. So now what I will do also, I will take some tape here. So this is just a um, thermal adhesive and I'm going to use this just as a small part here to just hold this um, wireless charger here in place. So I'm just going to put here a little bit of it on it and also there a little bit this is just to hold this stuff in place so it won't move like a safety procedure for myself. All right, so that should be good. Everything is done, everything in position. And now let's go, we need to put some glue here because we will um, put here back the flash and the rear speaker, I mean the rear microphone here. So we'll need some glue here. So if you remember, we have bended this a little bit before. So I want to make this even again. And that's why I need to bend it back. That should be fine. Maybe a little bit more. Not too much. That looks kind of okay. And now I do need a little bit of glue, which I will put in here everywhere. So I just took some of this real life glue. You can use B. 7000, B8000, E8000 or the glue from my video description link. Of course, keep in mind that this phone is not waterproof anymore. This is just to hold this piece of metal inside the frame there. Don't use too much, it, it could cover the microphone, microphone itself and then you won't be able to hear something if you do a free call, a hands-free call. Okay. 
Now let's go and put this microphone back here. So now we will surely need to remove this cover for protection of the glass for the phone, uh, for the camera itself. There are also some stickers inside which we'll, we will remove at the end. So let's put this in, perfect, align it here. Let's go and align it. And then once aligned, I will show you what the best to do. You will take a clamp here and press it here. So this clamp is going to hold until the glue is finished. So we, uh, I mean dry. So let's put this in here. We put in this flashlight. It's done, the flashlight is in. Perfect, all right. So, and now we will wait till this is dry. Of course, you will also need to Let's just, just double check here if everything is all right. Yeah, seems to be all right. Okay. So you can even wait here or you just take this small uh, metal piece and put it here back in place like this. So you can put this metal place uh, piece here on it and then take the small screw and screw this back here. So this will stay in place and you don't have any more issues with this stuff. Don't press too much, otherwise you could break the glass or something, so be really carefully or do this once this glue here will be dry. And this will be dry in around, let's say, one hour or one and a half hour. Okay, so we'll leave this now a little bit and then we'll be back later. In the meantime, let's go and put this by side and let's go and replace the screen here on the iPhone 14. So what we need to do first is I'm going to just that we don't actually make any scratches here in the camera or something like that then we will use here our camera protection and we'll put this one on the camera itself This will protect our lens, so we won't make any scratches inside. Once we have this protection on, we can turn it around and we will go and take out the screen here. So, to take out the screen, there is a gap here somewhere. And we need to put in here the small pry tool, so we can actually easy take it out. So I'm taking here a new screen and to see where the gap is. Let's see. So. The gap will be here in this area. So a little bit further from the recycling sign, from the bin trash can sign. So around here. So I'm going here in with this pry tool. I try to do and find the gap here. Yeah. 
if this is not going to work, then I can use also a suction cup here and try slowly to lift up, take out the screen. This is just now in this case because the screen is already broken. So otherwise I don't suggest to use the suction cup as you could easily damage the screen. So you see the screen is coming apart from the, from the frame so it will just make things harder for you. So don't use this suction cup, it's not really recommended. Okay. So I will go and try and pure here a little bit of alcohol in, if I can. Let's see if this is going in. And then I'm trying to find a gap here between the frame here and the screen. It's a little bit harder, but let's go. If I don't find a gap here, there is a second gap usually on the left side close to the camera here. So there is a second gap here which is located directly over, over the mute button here. So you can go and try if you can find a gap here, if you can insert, there you go. So this is much easier. We found the gap actually. So now I'm going to pour here a little bit of alcohol in so it will go easier. Once this is lifted up, I can go and insert here a plastic cart and then just go around and take out the, the screen. So don't forget I didn't have the screws here anymore so take first out the screws if you forgot. Don't, don't forget it. So I'm still using here a bit of alcohol. It's easing the glue and it makes the stuff really easier. Don't go too much inside because there are some cables and you don't want to break them. Perfect. Let's go again here around. Lift this up. Perfect job. All right. So we can turn this to the left side and as you see we have a screen disassembled here already, almost. So what we need to do is we need to unscrew this screw here and remove the metal plate. Don't worry, you can touch it now with the tweezers because the battery is disconnected. So you won't make any short. Okay. So this got disconnected, there is a second metal plate here. Alright, and now let's disconnect the screen carefully. Maybe it's really better to use the tweezers. Alright, and now we can lift up the screen here. So we're gonna put this by side. And now, as usual, we need to mount the sensors to the new screen. So there we have the new screen. Let's go and unscrew these two screws here. Then we can remove 
the metal plate and then we're going to move this flex cable to the new screen. So I'm gonna heat this up a little bit. And then carefully remove the flex cable. Just lift it up here slowly. Don't use too much force and watch out where you pull it. You don't want to crack this cable. All right, perfect. So then you're going to take it out here because the screen is already broken. This is going a little bit easier away. All right. Watch out if you have here some leftovers of some glass, just take it away. What I have here else is this small Um, adhesive for the um, for the microphone. So I'm gonna pull this a little bit more down. Like this and put it here in to the, in the place of the new microphone. This doesn't need to go over the hole. I mean, uh, it shouldn't go over the hole because otherwise it won't work and it will be, will be silent. So just find a nice position. This is just to hold the microphone in place. Okay, so now we take the flex cable with the sensors and put those back here. This is going here inside the sensor and the front microphone is going to stick here and then we gently press here to stick back the metal uh, I mean the flex cable to the metal so watch out there is also here some um, foam which needs to be transferred so I'm going, going to transfer this foam put it back here this is just in case uh, I'm usually transferring this because it's mean to be there and it will protect the flex cables and stuff okay all right so this is done, now I am going to put back here the metal piece and then also these two screws. Alright, so this is assembled. Now we can go and put the display back to the frame. So let's go and connect this back so I can also remove this 
tape here and let's go connect a screen back here and also the front sensor so still I'm going to reuse this um, adhesive here I'm not going to put a new one <clears throat> because this one is strong enough I know the phone won't be waterproof anymore and those stickers you get with the new phone are usually not waterproof so it's not 100% sure and secure so sometimes even the old adhesive is stronger than the new one so I'm keeping this all right So let's go and put back here this metal piece. This will just hold the this bracket here in place. And then also here another one which is going, going to be here. Okay, so now this is it for the first part and we can now gently press the screen inside the frame here. Align it, be sure it's in position and then you can go and press it down inside the frame. So for further installation and to press it really hard inside we will just wait and first also repair the back cover all right this is just for the screen and now let's go to the back cover so our phone did have here just a little bit of moisture coming in I will use here a little bit of alcohol and clean this to make it nicer. Alright, looks clean now. So now, let's get prepared to finish the back cover. This will stay a little bit. And now I'm taking here the back cover back removing here this piece here and now I'm going to mount this small bracket back here so this is going just to hold this in position so like this I'm just going to press it gently in All right, all right. So this is done. Now let's go and take the back cover here. And uh, like I said before, don't forget to take out these two protections here for the cameras. Otherwise you will have a yellow and pinky picture. So this I suggest to you that you take out really carefully with some non really sharp tool because if you take a sharp tool you can actually do a damage to the to this uh, and it can be seen later on the on the camera glass so don't use any too sharp items I will try to do it with some screwdriver if I can. It's a little bit harder. I don't know why they don't make this with some um, pull out stuff. No, 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 no.
slowly, really carefully here with some tweezers here. It's really kind of a bad installation of this part here. All right, finally, first one. Now let's go to the second one. Oh, what a beautiful job. Okay, so now let's go and connect this back here. As I said, I will reuse this um, um, uh, adhesive here. So basically I don't need any strong adhesive. I will just put maybe a little bit of glue here which I will need later, not too much, just really a little bit. It's really a small amount and maybe here where some glue was damaged and maybe here a little bit. That's really, I don't need that much, that's just for to be sure that this will stick in here. That's actually enough. All right, so like I said, now first, Let's go and connect this back here, wireless charger and stuff. And I'm going also to reconnect the battery here. And what I'm going to do now first, I'm not going to assemble this, but I'm going to put this on a wireless charger. I want to see if this is working. So I have a wireless charger here and indication and let me check if the phone will charge. The indication shows it will charge here. I see, and I see the battery here. So it means the wireless charger is working perfectly and the phone should actually start. So I will just wait here a little bit till the phone starts and see if everything is all right. All right, so far I can see the phone is charging very well. We don't have any issues, so that should be all right. Okay, let's remove this. So 
I'm just going to turn off the phone. Touch is also working. It's a nice job. I'm gonna turn this around. And what I'm going to do now, let's just put back this small metal plate here. And put back the screw. Okay, so now let's go and take this metal bracket here, which we will put back also here in place. And then we take these two screws and put them where they belong. Perfect. Now let's go and remove the protection here for the cameras. Perfect. And now let's go and assemble the phone. If you see any dust here inside, be sure to clean this. All right. Let's go clean also everything here. And let's go and put it here back carefully. Watch out. Perfect. There we go. Gently go and press now in every corner here like this. You can remove the foil here. And press everywhere around. Okay, so this is it. You managed to repair your iPhone. We replaced the screen, we replaced the back cover, and we also replaced the wireless charger from the old glass to the new glass. Let me know in the comments if you did the same work or if you just bought the glass, including the wireless charger, uh, how it went for you, what do you think about this video? And yeah, if you want to see more of that kind of videos, or if you just want to say thank you. So nice to see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. If the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee. Donations are always appreciated. Thank you. You find a donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.